Crypto Pirates Daily News. February 14, 2022. News headlines. The SEC has charged the founder of a cryptocurrency startup with fraud. Blockchain tax, according to crypto firm founders, is better than restrictions because it leads to legalization. The advantages of Bitcoin investing. There are presently five businesses that take cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. Love in the age of cryptocurrency, does cryptocurrency ownership make data more desirable? The SEC has charged the founder of a cryptocurrency startup with fraud. The Securities and Exchange Commission has charged Australian Craig Sproul, as well as the two startups he founded, Crowd Machine Incorporated and Metavine Incorporated, with misleading investors about how he intended to use the proceeds of a $41 million preliminary coin offering, ICO, in 2018. The SEC's lawsuit, which was filed in the United States District Court for the Northern District of California, charges Sproul and Crowd Machine with violating anti-fraud and registration provisions of federal securities laws. According to the SEC, Sproul has taken to calling himself the man behind the machine, and claims to have raised $40.7 million through his corporations, collectively known as Crowd Machine, in an initial coin offering of Crowd Machine compute tokens between January and April 2018. The SEC claims that Sproul initially told investors that the ECO proceeds would be used to develop a new technology that would allow Metavine's current application development software to run on a decentralized network of customers' computers. However, the SEC alleges that Sproul and Crowd Machine spent over $5.8 million in ECO proceeds on gold mining entities in South Africa, which was not disclosed to buyers. Furthermore, the SEC claims that Crowd Machine and Sproul failed to correctly register their offers and gross sales of CMCT tokens with the fee and knowingly offered the tokens to groups of buyers, together with individuals in the United States, without first determining whether or not the tokens had been accredited. According to the SEC, this amounts to materially false and deceptive statements in reference to an unregistered supply and sale of digital asset securities. In a press release, Christina Littman, chief of the SEC Enforcement Division's Cyber Unit, stated, as alleged, Sproul and Crowd Machine misled buyers about how they were utilizing eco proceeds, spending funds on a wholly unrelated scheme. We will continue to hold accountable issuers of digital asset securities who fail to provide comprehensive and truthful disclosure to the general public. Sproul is ordered to pay a $195,047 civil penalty as a result of the grievance. Sproul and Crowd Machine have agreed to judgments completely enjoining them from violating these provisions and prohibiting them from participating in future securities transactions without admitting or denying the allegations. They also agreed to investigate the removal of CMCT tokens from crypto buying and selling platforms. Blockchain tax, according to crypto firm founders, is better than restrictions because it leads to legalization. Igor Teliatnikov and Vadim Teliatnikov, co-founders of the crypto firm, shared their thoughts on blockchain taxation and digital coin restrictions. Currently, cryptocurrencies are not fully regulated by the United States and other countries. As a result, people who invest in the burgeoning blockchain industry are exempt from paying taxes. However, the founders of AlphaPoint, the crypto software company hired by El Salvador's government to support the back-end and front-end infrastructure of the Chivo wallet, believe that taxes are preferable to prohibitions. Taxation, according to the founders of cryptocurrency firms, is beneficial. According to the most recent NDTV report, the two founders stated that taxation is not ideal for cryptocurrencies. They did, however, add that taxes are still far more beneficial to consumers than outright restrictions. When we hear tax on transactions, we assume those are not illegal transactions, they explained. 
As of now, the rising digital coins are still volatile. As a result, it is not advised to invest all of your money in the blockchain market, as the value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies can still fluctuate. Aside from that, the blockchain industry is attracting an increasing number of cybersecurity attackers. In 2021, Next Advisor reported a massive crypto scam that resulted in a $2.8 billion cryptocurrency theft. Are cryptocurrencies still banned? Cryptocurrencies are still not widely accepted in many countries at the moment. Recently, China, Qatar, Egypt, and other countries decided to prohibit cryptocurrency transactions in their respective jurisdictions. Despite this, some governments are now considering regulating the growing number of digital coins. This is due to their belief that cryptocurrencies will benefit their respective countries in the long run. In other news, Uber's CEO remains hesitant to accept cryptocurrencies on the ride-hailing app platform. He did, however, state that they would begin accepting digital coin payments in the near future. Meanwhile, Bitfinex's massive fraud results in a massive cryptocurrency collection. The FBI was able to seize digital coins worth more than $3.6 billion. The Advantages of Bitcoin Investing If you've been looking for a way to invest your money that is as cutting edge as Bitcoin, look no further. Bitcoin has grown in popularity among individuals who enjoy investing in new technologies and alternatives. Bitcoin is the world's first decentralized digital currency, enabling individuals from all over the world to send money instantly and without incurring any fees. The Bitcoin community has previously processed over 100 million transactions and is now processing over 300,000 transactions each day. You're probably wondering what makes Bitcoin so unique in comparison to euros or dollars. While there are numerous distinctions between Bitcoin and conventional currencies, one of the primary advantages of Bitcoin is its global nature, which enables it to be sent from any area of the world without incurring costly international transaction fees. Additionally, Bitcoin revolution transactions are faster than those of traditional financial institutions, and Bitcoin is supposed to be completely secure. There are numerous reasons why Bitcoin has become such a popular subject recently. To begin, Bitcoin's value has increased by more than 100% over the last 12 months. The second reason Bitcoin is so popular today is that it has the potential to completely replace inefficient and insecure cash transfer mechanisms. The third reason for Bitcoin's popularity is that Bitcoin mining is becoming increasingly difficult on a daily basis, which means that new Bitcoins will become increasingly scarce while their value will continue to increase over time. After quickly defining what Bitcoin is good for, we'll discuss another critical aspect of investing in Bitcoin, security and privacy. Purchasing Bitcoin anonymously does not appear to be as secure and safe as Bitcoin users would expect. Due to the traceability of Bitcoin, Bitcoin transactions may be easily traced by Bitcoin authorities. Each Bitcoin user's Bitcoin address is visible to anyone who wishes to see it, and Bitcoin wallets are not completely anonymous either, as they can be traced via online methods that we will discuss in the following article. However, we should always bear in mind that Bitcoin has extremely robust encryption and privacy policies, which means that Bitcoin transactions and information remain confidential throughout their time on the network. The final section of our post discusses Bitcoin mining, which is likely why the majority of people invest in Bitcoin in the first place, aside from the security and privacy benefits. This Bitcoin funding information should provide you with sufficient data to determine whether or not Bitcoin funding is a good fit for you. However, before we discuss the advantages and disadvantages of earning money through Bitcoin mining, we want to emphasize that the Bitcoin market is unlike any other market on the planet. Bitcoins are mined when individuals from all over the world compete against one another using their computer systems to solve mathematical problems. The miners who address these issues first, frequently referred to as block era, get transaction fees and recently minted bitcoins, 12.5 in the meantime. 
The number of bitcoins that can be minted each year diminishes until they are all mined. Bitcoin miners can swap their currency for conventional currency, and bitcoin is purchased and sold on markets similar to those used for other commodities. Bitcoin's value also fluctuates daily, so investing in bitcoin may not be the best option if you're looking to make a short-term investment. If you're still interested in bitcoin, there are numerous ways to earn money with it. However, we must always bear in mind that Bitcoin mining is becoming more difficult each year, which means that earnings will decrease over time until Bitcoin prices increase or more people begin using Bitcoin mining software. Conclusion Bitcoin is a digital currency that has grown in popularity recently due to the fact that its value has been increasing and it has the potential to easily replace costly and insecure cash transfer methods. Bitcoin mining is becoming increasingly difficult on a daily basis, which means that new bitcoins will become increasingly scarce over time, but their value will continue to rise. Bitcoin authorities will monitor all bitcoin transactions, implying that bitcoin clients' identities will not be as secure and safe as they wish. Nonetheless, Bitcoin features an extremely effective encryption policy that ensures that data remains private during its time on the network. For resolving mathematical problems, Bitcoin miners are compensated with freshly minted Bitcoins and transaction fees. There are presently five businesses that take cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. Cryptocurrencies usually find a way to make headlines, owing to a constant flurry of new discoveries. With cryptocurrencies becoming more mainstream on a daily basis, the use of cryptocurrency to pay for goods and services is becoming more common. Additionally, an increasing number of businesses across industries are adopting cryptocurrencies and allowing consumers to use them to pay for their products and services. If you're curious about which well-known businesses accept cryptocurrency as payment, the following is a list of five. Overstock Overstock, established in the United States, is a technology-driven internet retailer. Since its inception in 1999, Overstock has grown from a small startup to a multi-billion dollar online business. In 2014, Overstock became the first big shop in the United States to accept Bitcoin as payment, becoming the first major retailer to do so. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that enables secure and fast internet transactions. Overstock has partnered with Coinbase, a cryptocurrency exchange that enables its users to trade digital currencies. Additionally, Overstock partnered with Bitcoin exchange Shapeshift in 2017. Shapeshift lets shoppers to make online purchases from Overstock's almost 4 million products, including DIY, furniture, carpets, accessories, decor, and bedding, using all major cryptocurrencies such as Monero, Ethereum, Dash, and Litecoin. Travala Travala has grown from a small startup to the world's leading blockchain-based travel booking platform since its debut in 2017. Using tokenized incentives and next-generation blockchain technologies, the company has successfully created a seamless travel booking experience. The company provides a range of cryptocurrency and traditional payment methods, as well as a unique user experience. Travala has risen to prominence as a major crypto-friendly hotel booking platform, accepting a range of cryptocurrencies including BTC, ETH, BNB, ADA, Doge, SHIB, and FTM. Microsoft Microsoft began accepting Bitcoin as a payment mechanism for games, software, and other digital content in its Xbox video stores, Windows, Xbox games, and Windows Phone stores in 2014. Additionally, Microsoft announced the launch of ION in 2021 to assist in the expansion of the cryptocurrency market. ION is a permissionless, public, 
and OpenLayer 2 decentralized identity network built on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. PayPal Customers in the United States who have elite or personal PayPal accounts can now use their Bitcoin holdings to make specific purchases from millions of online merchants. Additionally, PayPal does not charge customers for storing cryptocurrencies in their accounts, instead, users must pay a transaction fee when selling or purchasing cryptocurrency. Starbucks Starbucks, the coffee retail company, announced in 2021 that consumers would be able to pay for coffee in cryptocurrency via the BackKT app, which converts Bitcoin to US dollars. The BackKT application is a platform that facilitates the exchange of Bitcoin and other digital assets. Customers can manage their digital assets in whatever way they see fit with the BackKT app. Customers can convert participant rewards points to cash or pay with Bitcoin all through one simple app. Final thoughts Businesses have rushed to adopt cryptos in order to reach a larger audience. Apart from the corporations mentioned previously, numerous additional businesses such as Atom T, Twitch, Newegg, and Air Baltic accept cryptos as payment for their products. Love in the age of cryptocurrency, does cryptocurrency ownership make daters more desirable? According to new research, adding crypto to a dating profile makes you more desirable, but the crypto community has reservations about online dating. Cryptocurrency has emerged as one of the year's most hotly debated topics. As a result, it's not surprising that mentioning crypto in an online dating profile may attract more attention. According to a new study conducted by the brokerage firm eToro, 33% of Americans polled would be more likely to go on a date with someone who mentioned crypto assets in their online dating profile. Out of the 2,000 adult residents in the United States between the ages of 18 and 99 polled, more than 40% of men and 25% of women said they are more interested in a potential date when crypto is mentioned on a dating profile. What does love have to do with cryptocurrency? According to Callie Cox, U.S. investment analyst at eToro, the findings of eToro's inaugural crypto and culture survey demonstrate the intersection of money, culture, and identity. In the survey, we talked a lot about identity and how important it is in the crypto community. The idea behind this campaign was to better understand how people think about big life projects and finding the right partner, Cox explained. With this in mind, Cox explained that one of the report's most notable findings was that 33% of respondents would be open to dating someone who mentioned cryptocurrency in their profile. This demonstrates that there is a link between money, love, and identity when people look for a partner on a dating app, she said. Cox went on to say that it was also interesting to see that nearly 74% of survey respondents said they would go on a second date with someone who paid the first date's bill in Bitcoin, BTC. We also wanted to put the environment through its paces to see how people felt about using cryptocurrency as a currency. We were surprised to see such a high percentage, which speaks to identity. While these findings suggest that publicly open crypto holders and enthusiasts may attract more attention on dating apps, Cox stated that the majority of survey respondents were millennials and Gen Z. Everyone was required to self-identify, and the majority of respondents were from the younger generation, she explained. Regarding the use of cryptocurrency as a currency, Cox added that eToro's findings show that paying a bill in Bitcoin is more appealing to men than to women. Cryptocurrency and Online Dating Although eToro's survey suggests that crypto terminology may make daters more desirable, some members of the crypto community believe that mentioning the trade is a double-edged sword. For example, Haley Lennon, a law partner at Anderson Kill and the founder of CryptoConnect, told Cointelegraph that she didn't have Bitcoin anywhere in her online dating profile at first, but that she eventually added it because the digital asset has long been a passion of hers. 
While Lenin did not notice an increase in responses to her profile as a result of adding Bitcoin, she has had some matches who have piqued her interest due to shared interests. People who are interested in Bitcoin have a lot in common. For example, if I post a photo of myself wearing a Bitcoin hat, it is likely that it will pique the interest of others who are interested in the subject. I've also jokingly tweeted that if I find someone with the word Bitcoin in their dating profile, I've found my soulmate. But it does demonstrate a shared interest and the ability to connect and discuss a shared passion. However, Lennon cautioned that using crypto terminology in your online dating profile could be detrimental. Sometimes, I'll reframe things and say that I'm an attorney in financial technology, without mentioning Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, so that the entire conversation doesn't turn into Bitcoin and what I do for a living. There are also those who continue to associate cryptocurrency with the false narrative that it is only used for criminal activity and money laundering, so it can be interesting to try to explain how you are a lawyer in the digital asset space, Lennon said. Furthermore, while Lennon finds eToro survey results interesting, she points out that many people in the crypto community are so focused on digital assets in their daily lives that they may want to have non-crypto focused conversations in romantic settings. When people find out what you do for a living, sometimes a date can only consist of wanting to talk about Bitcoin and how it works. That can get old and detract from the romance or fun of the date. Ivan Perez, the owner of Multiplied, a crypto-focused public relations firm, told Cointelegraph that since adding investing and working in crypto to his online dating profiles, he's met three women who also work in the cryptocurrency space. While Perez acknowledged that commonalities can be advantageous, he also stated that each date he had with someone in the crypto sector felt more like work than pleasure. All we did was talk about crypto, Perez explained. Perez went on to say that having crypto in his online dating profile attracted the wrong kind of attention at times. Some girls will look at my profile and say, you work in crypto, how cool. When we go on a date, the first 10 to 20 minutes are usually spent discussing how crypto works and what I do. Some women are only concerned with money. I've had a number of dates where the topic of cryptocurrency dominates the conversation. Perez, for his part, explained that working in crypto can make dating difficult. Now that NFTs are gaining mainstream attention, I've noticed that women at conferences are looking for crypto-rich individuals. This is infuriating because it causes you to doubt yourself. Are these women interested in me or the industry in which I work? Perez inquired. Adding cryptocurrency to a woman's online dating profile can also pose difficulties. Jessica Salama, community lead at Good Dollar Foundation, a non-profit initiative focused on financial education and digital assets, told Cointelegraph that while adding cryptocurrency to her profile has increased her desirability, it hasn't always been for the right reasons. I did get more matches, but then there were the mansplainers. Working in Web3, which still feels like a man's world, is fraught with difficulties. It's exhausting avoiding mansplainers at work and on Tinder. According to Salama, mansplainers are men who assume women don't understand the fundamentals of the blockchain industry. Unfortunately, the crypto space is still heavily dominated by men, which can be frustrating for some women. On the plus side, Salama is aware that she is a part of a transformative industry, which can be advantageous when it comes to finding love. At a friend's dinner, I met a great guy who is a crypto day trader and took a genuine interest and respect in my work and passion for Web3. We talked the entire night. I can't say it was love because the relationship gradually fizzled out, we forked. But he gave me that extra push to speak up for and own what I do and love, Salama explained. NFTs, Digital Age Personalized Love Aside from cryptocurrency and dating, eToro's survey found that 8% of respondents would be interested in receiving a non-fungible token, NFT, as a Valentine's Day gift this year. This statistic, according to Cox, came as no surprise given the growth of the NFT market. Cox, on the other hand, noted that this finding was intriguing because it demonstrated that millennials and Generation Z value identity-themed products. The younger generation wants to own something in real life or in the metaverse that reflects their personality, NFTs represent this. As a result, there are a number of identity-themed Valentine's Day NFTs available this year. 
Micah, for example, has created a limited edition NFT collection comprised of digital drawings on three of their best-selling jewelry pieces. According to Ronnie Algavish, Vice President of Global Marketing at Micah, more couples will give NFTs this Valentine's Day due to the rise of the metaverse and desire for a digital identity. Elgovish is supported by Ivan Sokolov, the founder of Mintmade, a platform that provides programmable templates for NFTs. According to him, more couples will send tokenized Valentine's Day cards this year, according to Cointelegraph. Mintmade, according to Sokolov, allows users to mint a pair of custom NFTs with their and their partner's names on them. These NFTs are user-generated, which means they were created by the buyer. The buyer enters two names on the platform and can mint the NFT with these names on it, Sokolov explained. Aside from NFT Valentine's Day gifts, eToro's research discovered that nearly 20% of singles would be more interested in dating someone if they used an NFT as a profile picture on a social platform or dating site. So, if your gift of an NFT doesn't work out, you can always use it to find a new March date, Cox joked. Although cryptocurrency is appealing, there are still safety concerns. Although eToro's findings suggest that crypto terminology and features may make online dating profiles more appealing, safety is an important factor to consider when publicly mentioning cryptocurrency. As the industry matures, keeping a user's crypto safe has become a top priority. To put this in context, according to a recent report from blockchain analysis firm Chainalysis, the intersection of cryptocurrency and crime will be a $14 billion industry by 2021. To avoid becoming a target, Justin Miley, manager of investigations at Chainalysis, told Cointelegraph that it's best not to flaunt that you own crypto, especially investing or holdings, on your dating profile. Scams aren't limited to dating apps, according to Miley. Scammers use Meta, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Quora, Discord, WeChat, and other platforms to find their victims, he said. Miley went on to say that while he thinks it's fine to publicly express an interest in cryptocurrency, no further details should be revealed. Just as you wouldn't publicly share that you have a savings account and how much money is in it, it's best not to publicly share that you own crypto to avoid becoming a target. Furthermore, Cox stated that eToro's findings show that adding the term crypto to a dating profile aids in determining a user's identity, but that online daters must be cautious about what they reveal. Because there are good and bad actors everywhere, individuals must exercise caution when mentioning crypto in their profiles. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.